Hello, LVDLCS student families and friends. It's Mrs. Mooring here to read for you on Wednesday morning. I'm going to read for you today the Bernstein Bears Count Their Blessings by Stan and Jan Bernstein. Small bears get big eyes when they take off and roam and sometimes forget all the good stuff at home. The Bernstein Bears Count Their Blessings by Stan and Jan Bernstein. Something they really like to do, parents, when I read, especially the Bernstein Bears, is create voices for each character. It really helps uh, the students and my children get really excited and happy and love the reading experience. So think about coming up with different voices. I bet my students out there are really excited for these voices because they love the Bernstein Bear voices. Mama, said Sister Bear one day after school, May I go over to Lizzie's house to play this afternoon? Yes, you may, said Mama Bear, but be sure not to leave a mess for Lizzie's mom and be sure to be home in time for supper. As Mama watched Sister skipping happily over the hill to Lizzie's house, she sighed. She knew exactly what was going to happen when Sister Bear got home. It wasn't just when she got home from Lizzie's. It was the same thing when she got home from Anna's or Queenie's. Anna's got her own phone in her room, Sister would complain, or Queenie's got her own phone and her own TV in her room. But Lizzie's was the worst. That was because Lizzie had the biggest collection of Barbie dolls ever. But you have a Barbie doll, Mother Mama would say, and your Barbie has lovely clothes. But Lizzie has lots of Barbies, complained Sister. She's got high fashion Barbie, sports Barbie, Tropical Barbie, Motorcycle Barbie, and Just Married Barbie. And Just Married Barbie has a whole trousseur. Then Mama usually said, Please, Sister, I've heard quite enough about Lizzie's Barbie collection. It wasn't much better with Brother Bear. Of course, it wasn't Barbie dolls with Brother. It was video games for his Game Bear player. When Brother came home from Cousin Freddy's house, it was, You ought to see how many video games Freddy has. He's got Space Avenger, Rocket Rangers, Killer Coyote, and on and on and on. Mama looked around. Where was Brother? She asked Papa when he came in from his shop for a tea break. Brother asked if he could go over to Cousin Fred's, he said. I told him sure. He'll be back in time for supper. There was a distant rumble of thunder. Hmm, he added. There must be a storm coming. That's right, thought Mama. With Sister at Lizzie's and Brother at Fred's, there was bound to be a storm coming, a storm of complaints about how many Barbies Lizzie had and how many video games Fred had. Mama got upset just thinking about it, but as the thunder got louder and the storm came closer, she began to worry. She was about to call to have the cubs sent home when she heard them coming up the front steps. They came in the door just ahead of the rain. It didn't take long for the complaining to start. Lizzie's just got equestrian Barbie, said Sister. It's brand new. It comes with riding clothes and a beautiful horse. You think that's something, cried Brother. Cousin Fred's got three new video games. Three. Now look, you two, said Mama. I've heard quite enough about what you don't have. I would be very nice if you would start, appreciate, start appreciating the things you do have. It's called counting your blessings. Like what? asked sister. Yeah, said brother. Like what? Just then there was a big streak of lightning followed by a big clap of thunder and the rain started coming down very hard. The cubs weren't exactly afraid of lightning and thunder, but this looked as if it was going to be a really big storm and they were a little nervous. Well, said mama, like this warm cozy house that protects us against the weather. That's one blessing. Now it was really pouring. The wind was whipping the curtains and blowing rain into the house. Mama and Papa rushed about, closing the windows. There was another lightning flash and another thunderclap. Kaboom! And we have each other, said Mama, bringing the cubs close. That's another blessing. That's when the biggest lightning flash yet lit up the sky. It was followed by a clap of thunder that shook the very air. Yipe! cried Sister, jumping into Mama's arms cried brother, jumping into Papa's arms. And you have a Mama and Papa who love you, said Mama. The lights started to flicker. Then after a few flickers, they went out. 
And you have a papa who knows how to make a fire in the fireplace, said papa. Soon he had a cheery fire ro roaring. And a mama who knows how to make hot cocoa over it, said mama. She hung a cook pot over the fire. Soon they were sitting in the glow of the fire, sipping hot sweet cocoa. Mmm, what a blessing that was. The storm kept getting worse. The lightning flashed brighter and brighter. Boom! The thunder crashed louder and louder. Th -th 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 that last one seemed awful close, said sister. Nothing to worry about, said papa. It was at least 5,000 feet away. How can you tell, asked brother. Easy, said papa. You see, sound travels a lot slower than light. So when you see the flash, start counting the seconds. One, two, three, until you hear the thunder. Then you figure about a thousand feet for each second. Just then there was a flash. The cubs started counting. One, two, three. On four, there was a big thunderclap. Boom! That flash was about 4,000 feet away, said sister. Very good, said papa. Outside, the storm raged on, but inside their sturdy treehouse, the bear family was cozy and warm. As the storm grew worse, they sipped cocoa and counted out the thunder. They count, the counting helped. Papa explained that lightning and thunder, what lightning and thunder were. Lightning was a big electrical flash that traveled between storm clouds and burned up the air. Thunder was the sound of air rushing into that burnt space. That helped, too. Gradually, the storm eased, the rain slowed and stopped, and the lights came back on. The bear family sighed a big sigh of relief. Then sister started counting again. Why are you counting, dear? asked Mama. The storm is over. I'm doing what you said, Mama, she said. I'm counting my blessings. So while Papa set the table and Mama started supper, sister went upstairs to play with her bear bee doll, and brother tried to reach the next level on one of his video games. You know, my dear, said Papa, there are birthdays and Christmas coming. Do you have any ideas for the cubs? Oh, I thought perhaps a just married bear bee for sister and a couple of video games for brother might be nice. Mama said, what do you think? I think we should count our blessings too, said Papa. The end. So... What I really would recommend is during these uncertain times, try finding books that would help ease everybody's stress and find relief by giving them other options and reading to them to make them feel more comfortable. Start counting your blessings today. How many do you have today? I have at least I have one. Ah. One right here. <laughs> have a great day, everyone.